Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you the schematic symbols that you can find everywhere in every motherboard. So let's get started. So let's begin with this component. As you can see, basically this is the symbol for the ceramic capacitor. Okay, here we have inductor L1. Okay, here we have another inductor as you can see. So we call this inductor or coil okay so l is the reference for the inductor as you can see this is a resistor basically its reference is r okay here we have the transistor its reference is q as you can see it has three terminals so base collector and emitter okay so here we have ceramic capacitors or PF capacitors, okay? So its reference is C, as you can see, C11, C12, C13, and so on, okay? Here, this is basically the MOSFET, as you can see. So always you should differentiate between MOSFETs and transistor. For transistor, we have base collector and emitter, and for MOSFET, gate, drain, and source. Here we have the crystal oscillator, as you can see, the quartz or crystal oscillator. It has two terminals. Its reference in the motherboard is X, X or Y. Okay, as you can see, we have X, Y. So we will find X or Y for crystal oscillator. Over here, as you can see, this is resistors. All these are resistors, as you can see. Okay, here basically we have the ground. This is the digital ground, as you can see, because there are basically three main types of ground. Digital ground, chassis ground, and analog ground. I'm going to show you all this type of ground in the next slides. So this is the digital ground, as you can see, connected to this capacitor. Here we have an electrolytic capacitor or a polarized capacitor. There is a difference between a polarized capacitor with plus and minus and a simple capacitor like a ceramic capacitor. So as you can see for this capacitor, its reference is C21, okay, it has plus and minus, as you can see. Let's see now some basic electrical, electronic and logical symbol explanation. So here, as you can see, this is wire. So this symbol is for a simple wire. Here, the second symbol is for an connected wire, as you can see. We have two wires, as you can see. So we don't have here nothing, dot. Here for this symbol we have a dot, as you can see, it means connected wires. So these two wires are connected together because we have this dot here, means two connected wires. Here, as you can see, this is a test point. As you can see, we have a wire like this with a dot or a point in its terminal means a test point so this is a test point here also this symbol is for unconnected wires you can find also this symbol means unconnected wires so basically if you understand this basic electrical and electronic component symbols you can understand any schematic you have so let's see right now these symbols basically here we have grounds so we have three kind of grounds as you can see so this is the earth ground as you can see or analog ground okay earth ground or analog ground so the second one is for chassis ground and the third one is for the digital ground so three types of ground Earth ground, chassis ground, and digital ground. 
basically we'll find this kind of ground the digital ground in the motherboards like a laptop motherboard mobile phone motherboard and small electronic boards here we have inductors or coil this is an open inductor over here okay open inductor or simple inductor or coil and here we have iron core inductor so this is an inductor with an iron so this is iron core inductor so let's see this symbol so basically this symbol is for capacitors here we have a fixed value capacitor or the first one is a ceramic capacitor okay so basically this is a ceramic capacitor it's not a polarized capacitor. We called it a ceramic capacitor or PF capacitor. And here we have polarized capacitor. So this is polarized capacitor with plus and minus. Basically, it can be electrolytic capacitor or tantalum capacitor. So the second one is a variable capacitor. We have this around means this capacitor is variable. Okay, it's not a fixed value capacitor, it's variable. Okay, as you can see here, you can find also this kind of ceramic capacitor or this kind of sample that means variable capacitor. Its reference in the motherboard can be VR. And over here, this is not a capacitor. Basically, this is a battery. You should differentiate between a battery and capacitor so this symbol is for the battery cell okay this is a cell battery about for example 12 volt or 9 volt etc right now we gonna see some switches as you can see here we are gonna see some push button switch so this switch is a normal switch okay with just one pull and one throw, so this is a normal switch. We can call it a single pole and single throw. Here, basically, we have a single pole and double throw. As you can see, we have the first throw and the second throw. Means two option. Okay, a throw means option. So this is a single pole and double throw. Okay, ASPDT switch basically this is another kind of normal switch or single pole single true switch as you can see we have just one true and one pole we have a double pole double true as you can see so double pole double true because we have two poles and two true okay so here this is a single pole single true toggle switch as you can see basically exactly like this one okay single pole single throw switch okay spst toggle switch as you can see and over here as you can see we have spdt a single pole as you can see we have one pole and double throw single pole double throw so two throw or two option so this is an spdt change over switch here we have push buttons this is a push button switch normally open as you can see this is in o means normally open okay by default this kind of switch is open that's why we called it normally open push button switch okay and the second one is a normally closed push button switch nc because by default this kind of switch is closed so in c or normally closed push button switch